Hey Internet, I'm Mike Bryce and welcome back to more of the Mario Kart 8 200cc playthrough. Today, we're going to be taking on the Banana Cup and I thought it'd just be very appropriate to just be cliche and use Dry Bones for this cup. So the cart combination I'm using is the Bone Rattler, the Metal Tires, and the Wario Wing. I thought this was a pretty badass looking cart combination and kind of fits Dry Bones, especially the Bone Rattler. These are the stats for those of you who are interested. They're pretty even, really. I mean, the stats are actually pretty bad <laughs> if you look at them. There's nothing that really stands out. Handling is the best thing we got going for us, and even it's not that great. It's a pretty, like, all-around combination, but I think we can make do. Like I said, we're going on to the Banana Cup where we have Dry Dry Desert, Donut Plains 3, Royal Raceway, and DK Jungle. So let's just get right on into it. All right, so our first truck we got here is Dry Dry Desert from Mario Kart Double Dash. This truck plays relatively the same as it does in Double Dash, except for there is now an oas oasis? That's the right word, oa oasis. It sounds weird. Saying oasis, oasis is a weird word. Oh my goodness. But yes, there is an oasis near the end of the track. That's really the only difference to this track. It's also wider, which is nice. I mean, it makes sense because now there's 12 racers on the field at a time instead of, you know, eight from Double Dash. But the Oasis was definitely a cool touch. I think it helped bring this track to life more because this track in, in Double Dash was... It, uh, it was... it was near the bottom for me, to be honest. Like, it wasn't a horrible track, but it just wasn't great. But even just adding, like, this Oasis part just gives it more character. I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb for saying that, but... I don't know. For me personally, it made the track better. Also, can I... Boom! Bye! See ya, Dry Bowser. I believe Dry Bowser is technically Dry Bones' rival, if I'm thinking right. Or maybe Dry Bones is one of the characters who doesn't have a rival. I know I mentioned that in the previous episode where I used King Boo, where King Boo just doesn't have a rival for some reason. You know, you'd, you'd think it'd be Luigi, but it's not. But I think Dry Bones' rival is Dry Bowser. The rivals are usually just like a character that's similar to them in a lot of cases. Like, I know with the babies, the rivals are just like the other babies. You know, pretty basic. So I think it, and then like the Koopalings, the rivals are just like other Koopalings, except for Wendy, who got like the princesses, Peach and Daisy, as her rivals for whatever reason. I guess it makes it, you know, more fun, I don't know. But, okay, I am not playing too hot here. Also, I am in third, I am in third, and I don't like it. I am not losing my streak on this track. Like, that would be dumb. No, thank you. I think I should be fine. Yoshi's kind of right behind me. Right behind me. Uh-oh. Oh, I got this. I got it. I got it. Come on. What am I stressing out for? Oh, shoot. Dry Bowser came fifth. Maybe he's not Dry Bones' rival. I mean, it would make sense, but he didn't do that good. Anyways, let's move on to the next race. Okay, our next track is Donut Plains 3 from Super Mario Kart. This is actually, I believe, the only Super Mario Kart track in the game. It's also, you know, probably one of the worst tracks in the game, but... Like I said before, like, I don't think there's any horrible tracks in this game. Even though I was kind of, like, pooping on Toad's Turnpike uh, when we did the Shell Cup. I even said, like, it's not a bad track, you know? And the same goes for this, like, you have to understand, this is from Super Mario Kart, a game from the early 90s. Like, this is, you know, the best they could do at the time. And yes, it's very flat, you know, not very interesting, but, you know, it still plays okay, I think. So, can't really, can't really complain that much. To be perfectly honest, if I was deciding the tracks to bring back, I would probably I would have probably brought back, you know, a vanilla lake. I, I like the vanilla lake. Although, like, okay. 
I like Vanilla Lake because I love snow-themed areas and tracks. Vanilla Lake, however, in Super Mario Kart is not fun to play because the ice physics in that game are bad. However, I, the ice physics in this game are good. So therefore, I feel like if they would have brought back Vanilla Lake, one or two, probably two, two's a little more interesting. I think it would have been great. This track is just kind of like another, like I don't even know the aesthetic for the Donut Plains track. I guess they're just planes. I don't know, but it works. It's fine. There's actually some cool out of bounds secrets you can see. I watched a video once and it was like people playing this track like, but they can go like out of bounds and, and it looked really cool to be honest. But there we go, another first place. Sweet, thank you very much. Let's move on to Royal Raceway. All right, so here we have Royal Raceway from Mario Kart 64, an iconic track that is just as amazing in this game as it is in Mario Kart 64. Actually, I think I like it a little better in this game. Although, you can't drive up to the castle in this version, which kind of sucks. I get why they did it, because people would just troll and do it online and whatnot. So I totally get why they got rid of that, you know, part of it. But, it, you know, I feel like they could have made it where you can, in single player, go to the castle, and then in multiplayer, make it where that's not possible. But, I don't know. They, they just decided to not make it possible at all. It's fine. The track is definitely a lot prettier in this version. It, it looks kind of weird in the 64 version. Like, there are these weird, like, cherry, strawberry, I think they were strawberry fruit things. I don't really know what that was all about. <laughs> But, they got replaced with Piranha Plants in this game. So. Also, just the the controls of this game make this track a lot better. Controls of 64 aren't the best. So, turning was a little bit wonky sometimes, especially on this track. But, I still loved it in 64. I still want to say 64 is my favorite Mario Kart. But I don't think I can say that anymore. Like, I honestly think this is the best Mario Kart. It just has so much to offer. The battle mode's really good, although I wish it was like elimination style. Also, can you get rid of that? Thank you. So I didn't want to pass you when you had a red shell and then just get hit by it. Also, I don't... Oh, crap! I am not liking this. Dry Bowser is... I'm not really kicking my butt, because I'm already back in first. I like to exaggerate, if you did not notice. Also, yay, Daisy Hot Air Balloon! I'd ride in a Daisy Hot Air Balloon. 100%! Daisy's badass. Best princess, like, how could you not love her? Also, I saw that blue shell coming. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me, blue shell. I will mess you up. <laughs> So that was Royal Raceway. Let's move on to the final race of the Banana Cup. All right, here's the final race of the Banana Cup. It's DK Jungle from Mario Kart 7. Kind of a funny placing for this course in my opinion, but I get why they put it in the Banana Cup. Originally in Mario Kart 7, this is the first racetrack of the Special Cup. And then in this game, it's the last racetrack of the Banana Cup, which I consider the Banana Cup the equivalent of the Mushroom Cup. It's like the retro version of the much Mushroom Cup. But I get why they put this cup here. I mean, it's DK, Banana, you know what I mean? So, and this track really isn't too bad. Usually the first racetrack of the Special Cup is like the equivalent of like a racetrack in the Star Cup. I would say like the third, second or third track of the Star Cup. So, I mean, like it's fine that they put it in this cup. It's really not too, too difficult, but I think it's like difficult enough to be in the Banana Cup. If that makes any sense. I don't know if what I said makes sense, but I also love how this track is based off of like Donkey Kong Country Returns. This is a really good game. I actually don't own, tr wait, I do own, I do own, um, I used to own Returns and I got rid of it like a dumb bum. But then I got the 3DS version, and the 3DS version is just really good. Also, I thought somebody was calling me again. 
That seems to be like a reoccurring thing. People love to call me when I'm playing this game. Remember the government called me? Look what the heck was that all about? 100% it wasn't actually the government. It was literally a... I did not mean to do that. It was obviously a scam. Nobody answers the phone these days anyways. Like, I hate talking on the phone. Like, oh my goodness. You can never read people when you're like... I'd almost rather talk to them in, in person. And I don't even like doing that. Like, I'm a super, like, shy person. When it comes to talking to people I don't know. If I'm talking to, like, friends or whatever, it's fine. Actually, that's not really true. Because I can talk to, like, random strangers who, like... Just fine. It's talking to, like, people I work with. Work people are, like, the people I'm most nervous talking to. Because it's like, I have to see these people every day, you know? I need to keep this professional. I don't want to come across as, like, an idiot or, like... You know what I mean? So it's, like, stressful. But there we go. I am now... Oh, my God. I'm now 16 for 16 on the tracks and 4 for 12 on the cups. I, I know I'm saying 16 for 16. I guess because, like... I could just say 48, because there's 48 tracks. That's right, though. 14? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm also having a drink. I didn't mention that, so... I'm acting like an idiot, so... Let's just go to the results. Nobody cares what I'm saying. Okay, what track is it gonna show us? Oh, okay, DK Jungle! You must have done some cool stuff here. Well, I hit Dry Bowser. That was pretty awesome. Ooh, I think I'm gonna make that the thumbnail there. Him in the air. That was a cool shot. Also, really love how this track looks. All the tracks in this game look so good. I mean, there's a couple exceptions. Like, Donut Plains was kind of meh. But, oh my god, this game is so beautiful! I mean, it's no... It's no... Wonder why this is the best-selling Mario Kart game ever. Is the Switch the best-selling Nintendo console at this point? Or is it still the Wii? I don't know. But anyways, uh, I came first. Hooray for me. Donkey Kong! Donkey Kong is actually our daily loser. Daddy DK! No! Okay, you can all make fun of Donkey Kong. I like to call him Donkey Thong. Because that's funny. So you can call him Donkey Thong in the comments. Whatever. Make fun of him in the comments. Um, with his dumb 10 points. I beat him by 50 points. Like, how bad did he have to race? Um, it looks like a giant poop on your head, a, a poop that's drooping, a droopy poop. So, uh, also, where are your teeth? He has no teeth. I don't know what's going on there. Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe 200cc. Next time, we will be heading over to the Star Cup, and we are going to be using a character from this row, the Row of Koopalings. Which Koopaling will I be using? Let's find out next time. Alright, so anyways, thank you so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. If you like uh, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, like this video, do all the good stuff, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.